Uh, you know what? I should just do the intro. I should just do the intro. Hey everyone, this is Save Data, and uh, we're having a great stream so far. So, uh, nope. Zach, Zach thinks we can hear him, and that's really funny because because he because we can't. Zach just said with an actual lawyer, Pridge, which he yeah. thinks you can hear, but you can't. Uh, I, yes. Bridge. What? Say hello. They can't hear you, Zach. Okay, well, hey, folks. Yeah, they couldn't hear any of that. Well, I'll edit it in post. Um, well, how? How would we? He did a handstand. You're joking me. No, he did a full handstand. Well, okay, wait, 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 wait. He did splish splash in the back. Can you, can you, can you, is your well, camera? I'll describe it to you. He stood on his hand. God damn it. And, you know, went upwards. No. <laughs> this sucks. It looked good. Good form. Nice legs. I'm so... I hate this. Wes has really good cats. Stop. No, you don't wanna... You should know that. What up? We're still waiting on Wes. Wes is getting getting dressed again. Still, still drying off. Hey, Zach. Yeah, what's up? Is this really the only thing you had? Come on, it's not that bad, Wes. No, I mean... Yeah, but... Really? There's not a whole lot of options you got? Yeah, come on. Come on. Just show, show the chat. Show the chat. <laughs> Oh, Chad, I don't great. know if this is really like my vibe. You look great. I mean, I looked all through Zach's closet, and this is kind of like the only You're thing that, that relatively fit me. But <laughs> hold on a second, I'm gonna see if I can Fridge find can... something a little better. Okay, here. thank you. Uh, hey, Zach. Yeah, God damn it. Yeah, what is it, Wes? This one is a little better, but I don't know. What's wrong with it? Marvin Grossberg's not even in this trial. <laughs> I couldn't tell that that was supposed to be lemons at first, but that's uh, lemons. You got, you have a whole, in your closet, this is just a whole lemon <laughs> shirt. Hold on, there's gotta be something better. I'll okay, try. okay, thank you. Hey, Zach? Oh my Christ. Hey, Zach? Yeah, Wes? How many, like, yellow vertical striped shirts do you own? You can never have enough of those. Yeah, but they're all in, like, different cuts, too. Yeah, well, you know. I don't know, this one seems like a little... A little low cut, don't, don't you think? Yeah, well, sometimes you want to show off different parts of your body, and yeah, that's... Yeah, I guess, but... And that's fine. How many... I feel like there's there's only so many occasions that you can do like a yellow yeah vertical striped shirt, but oh, no, but I mean you know and, and this Zach this is clearly a crop yeah yeah there's nothing wrong with that yeah like it came tied and everything uh huh so, hold on there's 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 one more that I was gonna Jesus look at. Christ <laughs> God damn it yes Wes this one's actually pretty cute oh. That is a good shirt. Yeah, see, I think I'm, I think, wow. I'm, I think I'm good with this one. I do have good taste in shirts, it see? turns out. Zach, we have a winner, finally. Thank dog. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the first in a long time episode of Ace Attorney, great Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. I am your host, Zach, joined by your voice actor, Wes. Hello. My dog, Magnus, and our actual lawyer, Pridge. That it, you all have a right to sue under the Eighth Amendment for the first four, 50 minutes of the stream. <laughs> if you like this stream, you can catch it and many more on twitch.tv slash save data team. And if you wanted to support us, you can head over to patreon.com slash save data team. Throw us a couple bucks. Just two bucks a month gets you access to the full VODs of every single stream we do. Five bucks a month lets you vote on which variety stream you'd like to see us do. And... $10 a month above gets you access to the Patreon rap. Magnus, you're not singing the Patreon rap. It's me. Enjoy it, folks. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Bergamot, Les, Bandicoot, Commando, Hello, Dave, Hallucha, and Sofino. HSM, Fern, Wake, Pro, Knight, Danny, and Lester, Kevin, Asian, shout out, Navi. Shout out to Jaco, Bell, Taco, Sensei, Aki, Forensic, Becknick, Cole, and Mystic, Woody. 
Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Naruka, Yongi, Croissant, Fulfill, a written word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla! Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons! Also, uh, just in case you are watching and somehow you stumbled into the 18th episode of this Let's Play series. It's been about a year since we've played this game. Yeah. So I apologize deeply if we forget some major plot points or minor plot points. Please forgive us. Yeah, I mean, pretty much the thing you got to remember is Barrack Von Zeeks is racist. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Narahodo took over for his dead best friend. Uh-huh. Susato's who, cute. Who, who uh. he was intellectually attracted to. Scientifically yeah. speaking, yeah. yes. Yeah, Susato's cute, but also can kick your ass. Uh-huh. Susato The, the Susato... Take down. Take, Take down. down. Uh, and then... That, that's pretty much it. <laughs> the wait is... Oh, the adventure of the clouded Kokoro. Uh, I can't hear the video the game. game. I oh, I know why. Because I muted the game. Get it out of here. Look at that. We can hear the video game. I begin to think, Wilson, said Shilmans, turning his head languidly in my direction. Man, so that there is more this to this case than that which we have observed. Indeed that there may be another part to this story that we are yet to discover. His eyes wandered, following the steam rising from his cup of herbal tea, herbal. leading him to the distant memory of that snowy evening. To the young lady collapsed on the pavement along Briar Road, and to the knife in her back. Lit in the soft glow of gas lamps, a most extraordinary scene had been set. And under the cover of a light fog, the curtain had risen silently on the insoluble mystery of our invisible killer. Completely forgot that this game has like intros like Narratives, that. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Also, uh... in the time hall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the... we're back to the time wizard. <laughs> Chrono... Never forget the power of Time Wizard. Chrono Wizard is going wild in the chat right wow. now. Wow, Time Wizard in the chat? <laughs> Big Time Wizard on stream. Uh, also, Zach, scoot, scoot like slightly this way. Oh, I'm Actually, not this on the way. camera, yeah. This way, this way. I gotta get closer to you. Now, like, s split the difference. Now, chat, doesn't it look like Zach has a tiny blue hat? This sucks. Uh... You can't unsee that now, can you? <laughs> oh wow hello susato we haven't seen you in so long did you sleep last night mr narahodo no not at all it was an enormous hotel wasn't it the rooms were so luxurious i felt like we were staying in a palace and with all the gas lights twinkling it was what brighter than me? day even in the middle of the night what about the enormous beds? After my time on the SS Buria, I wasn't going to waste a single inch of that space. I spent the entire night rolling from one side of the mattress to the other. Oh yes, it really was the sort of night you could only dream of normally. Except, when I learned that we owed three pounds for the rooms, that dream quickly turned into a nightmare. God damn it. Oops! <laughs> Sorry about that. Oofa doofa! The building was so impressive and the entrance so inviting, I just wandered in without thinking. In a lodging house in Japan, that sum of money would put a roof over your head for a whole year. Oh my Christ, Jesus. I did try, but I'm afraid I couldn't keep my tears. I couldn't help my tears when we were presented with the bill. Uh, I really am sorry. Well, never mind. We must find some more affordable lodging straight away, though. If we're not careful, our entire stipend will be used up in ten days or less. Uh, London is a scary place. Uh, our UK Thanks. audience, please confirm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good morning to you at this early hour. <laughs> was Now, question, was Swedish Guy a bit when we were doing this game yet? No, clue. No. Okay. No, I, don't, 
I don't believe so. <laughs> he's, a, he's eternal, though. So just in I case... Think, I think I think Swedish guy appeared during Justice for All. I think that's point. true, yeah. Oh, uh, yes, uh, we... Um, <clears throat> well... Good morning to you, Lord Chief Justice. Oh, wrong button. We have come to report the outcome of the trial at the Old Bailey yesterday. Sir Sutterson is amazing. She doesn't bat an eyelid, even in the presence of the imposing, the imposing Lord Strongheart. All right, so remember, we had to win the trial in Otherwise, order to, to stay to, here. Yeah, to take yes. Kazuma's place. Yes, and if we lost, we had to go home. Mm -hmm. Yes, I believe you had a very comprehensive initiation into British courtroom practices. Oh, yes, like that extremely racist guy. <laughs> is that going to be in every one? Oh, absolutely. Shit. Oh, yeah. This, That's this not is, going it's, away anytime It's not going to be good for you. Also, what's the deal with the fire? Hasn't London, like, burnt down seven times? Uh, eight, actually. <laughs> yes, it was very... Eye opening. Thank you. And in accordance with your instructions, Lord Strongheart, Mr. Narahodo performed his duty to the end. Yes, I've already been apprised of events. You conducted a remarkable defense. You may consider the test passed. Oh! No longer are you a student from the Empire of Japan. You may henceforth claim to be a fully-fledged lawyer. My country is delighted to welcome young talent from such a remote eastern island land. Um, thank you very much. So, I'm a lawyer now. What's that? <laughs> Now, in view of your new appointment, I have a fresh case in mind for you. I'd like you to take it on at once. I trust that won't be a problem. Another case? Already? Nothing trains a lawyer better than practical experience. I'm sure I don't sense dissatisfaction, do I? What? Uh, it's just that... Yesterday's trial ended unusually. I haven't quite come to terms with it. What's to come to terms with? The man was clear. The fire, you numbskull! I'm assuming that Rinosuke doesn't about? know about the fire? Oh yeah, probably not. What more were you hoping for? I don't know, maybe a musical number? <laughs> You guys don't have confetti here, and I feel uh, like courtroom should have confetti yeah. when one part wins. <laughs> uh, uh, the culpability of the defendant has not, at present time, been established by this court. Consequently, uh, the jury will not be required to proffer judgment. Well, Lord Van Zeeks, it's been a pleasure, so it has. And as for you, my dear fella, I couldn't have asked for a better defense. <laughs> well, based on that evil laugh, I'm actually going to change my verdict. Execute an evil laugh dot exe. <laughs> Yeah, wait, maybe we shouldn't have gotten that guy off. I don't know. Wait a minute, did you just do an evil laugh? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I can't help but wondering... Whatever happened to his lucky charms? If... <laughs> that's racist. <laughs> if Mr. McGilded really was innocent. Mr. Narahodo. It's just that... I never managed to ascertain the truth. And then the trial ended. <laughs> the Colonel really said they're criminally delicious. It's <laughs> very good. Well, you, you needn't let it trouble you for a second longer. Sorry. What do you mean, Lord Strongheart? Magnus. No, not Magnus. 
Magnus McGilded passed away immediately following the trial. Oh, shit. Oh. No! What? Mr. Mister McGilded is dead? Fucking birds! I was gonna say, what was Magnus, that? I let go of you. That's not, that's not an excuse to both. What was the bit? It was direct. This this case is directed by uh, John Woo. Oh yeah. Th this yeah. room. This yeah. room. This room is directed by John Woo. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Zach has a plan. You've heard of horny jail, but have you heard of dog jail? Have you heard of real jail? There we go. Have you heard of real jail? For dogs. <laughs> Most people have heard of real jail, yes. Okay. Hi, buddy. <clears throat> Aw, see, you're so much calmer when you're in the box. I, yeah, he just chills in the box. Yeah. I don't know. All right. I have 19 minutes and 41 seconds until my next engagement. Time enough to talk. Wow, you've gotten married a whole bunch of times, huh? <laughs> Let's talk to this jabroni. I don't understand. What happened? How can he be dead? Well, his metabolic processes are a matter for historians only. What the fuck does that mean? I was just mean? going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say Singular brain cell. After the trial concluded yesterday, there was great commotion in the Old Bailey. He got into an elevator and an earthquake started. No! <laughs> also, here's a picture. This is this no. is this is known as the DL three DL... incident. No! <laughs> It'll take several decades. It'll be years. Oh. We have a picture of a guy in an elevator running out of air. I forgot that in this video game, because it's actually used to playing with a mouse, if I scroll the mouse wheel, it goes forward. So my bad. What did this jabroni say? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. We can do this. Crazy. Yeah. As you'll presumably recall, something An happened. omnibus. An omnibus. Had been wheeled into the courtroom. Had board been room. wheeled into Sorry. the courtroom. <laughs> that was my bad. That was my bad. <laughs> yes, of course. That was the scene of the crime which Mr. McGilded had been accused of. Precisely. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> well... While the bailiff's attention was diverted by some other matter, the omnibus went up in flames. No. How could such a thing have happened? Well, let's say the omnibus's metabolic process <laughs> of interest only yeah, God damn it. <laughs> That is being but investigated but as we omnibus speak. omnibus doesn't have metabolic process. <laughs> <laughs> but already... The police have identified a corpse found inside the charred shell of the carriage as that of McGilded. That's awful! Eh, uh, we didn't like him much anyway. The man must have slipped inside whilst the bailiff's attention was elsewhere. Perhaps occupied with several peepees? <laughs> that bailiff really needs to pay more attention. And how can that have happened? And that is also being investigated as we speak. I don't buy that. <laughs> Thinking back now, immediately after the trial, Mr. McGilded did mention going back into the courtroom to look at the omnibus. Top of the morning to you, laddies. It's me, Magnus McGilded. <laughs> well, I must be t making tracks now. Tis time for the inspection. Sorry. What inspection? To go to examine the omnibus again, so I'm told. I asked if I could be present for it myself. An inspection of the omnibus? Not to my knowledge. I don't believe Scotland Yard had any intention of re-examining the carriage. But then who was Mr. McGilded talking about? Never mind that now. The Yard is making a thorough investigation. And they're going to stomp it. They're going to stomp, stomp the, the Yard. yard. <laughs>
Yo, has there ever been like a, cro a crossover between Scotland Yard and Stomp the Yard? Like that seems like a fucking banger. Oh yeah, absolutely. Easy. I think it depends on enough people knowing what Stomp the Yard is. Oh, Pridge, Stomp the Yard is a cultural touchstone of the early so 2000s. It's really not. <laughs> Like, I recognize it, don't get me wrong, but, uh... Chat, I would not chat, back me up on this one. Come on. <laughs> what else are you going to do with the trash can? This matter is no longer any concern of yours. Leave it to the police. Fuck, Sophie says stomp? It should just be called stomp. Yeah, fucking stomp oh. is also a thing. Oh, is stomp different than stomp the yard? Stomp the yard is like a dance movie. Oh yeah, Stomp you're right. is it like is. the 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 people the making sounds. People. With, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Poor oh, Mr. McElvitt. I mean, he was very rich. And you know, he wasn't eat, poor at all. That's right. That's right, Mr. Narahodo. Eat the rich. <laughs> that's what we believe now. <laughs> Ooh, that was cool. powerful. Yeah, one thing I like. I do love these newer Ace Attorney games where the sprites. Yeah, like, I are forget active. that they're 3D models. I'm like, oh, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so, how did you find your first taste of our country's supreme court? Oh, pretty racist. Well, um, I mean, just like the American one. Uh, I don't know. That's I, I mean, racist, actually. Well, you know what? You got me on that one. Uh, Clarence Thomas kind of sucks, though. Uh. <laughs> I don't, as well as several of them, but I don't know. I mean, it was... Wow! <laughs> really? I thought you were going to talk about the rampant racism. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad that it didn't bleed through, I guess. Oh, wait, uh... Mr. Narahoda means that the whole experience was steeped in, its, in the solemnity of Great Britain's long history. Damn, Susato, read a fucking dictionary, my god. <laughs> It's really a world apart from our own judicial system in Japan, which is only a few short decades old. Wow, Susato-san is such a way with work. Are you just Nerd. noting this now? Like, Ryan, you fucking know this. Oh, that's right, we gotta start calling him Ryan. He's Ryan. He does stupid stuff. Yeah. And Susan when she does stupid <laughs> Susan. stuff. Susan! <laughs> and you seem to have a way of failing to find the right ones. Wait, can she read minds too? The judicial system here is the most advanced in the world. Learn. And the most racist in the world. <laughs> Learn all you can. About the racist Particularly world. about the racist parts. Most advanced in the world, is it? It was fortunate. That your very first trial was a simple affair. Well. Simple? That was simple? As I believe I mentioned yesterday morning, it was a trial you couldn't lose. Oh, no, actually we could. They were absolutely faithful news. I don't yeah. mean to be contrary, Lord Strongheart, but the case was anything but simple. Shut up. The circumstances of the case were <coughs> so incriminating. The circumstances of the case were so incriminating, I was stunned when I first heard them. In fact, I'm still finding it hard to believe that we managed to get a favorable verdict. Mr. Norahodo, there's quite a bug in your throat. Your voice <laughs> dropped so low there for a bit. Sorry. <laughs> Happens. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was your laugh. I is something funny? Yes, I was just thinking about Ligma. <laughs> L L what's Ligma? Ligma balls, Mr. Norahodo. <laughs> no, no, my apologies. However, the fact is that you did receive the not guilty verdict you set out to achieve. And that can only be attributed to exceptional talent. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I, I don't know about that. I am the best. <laughs> Around. 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 No one's ever gonna keep me down. Well, never mind. You exceeded my expectations, I freely admit. 
That much, at least, is an undeniable truth. Which is precisely why I've prepared the new case for you that I mentioned before. What's going on? What was he going to say before? Something about Ligma. <laughs> Could you perhaps give us some more details about the new case you mentioned? Don't no. tell me. It's a murder and the trial starts in ten minutes. <laughs> That's never happened in this game series, ever! Don't worry. It's nothing so alarming or quite so urgent as your last assignment. You've got an hour. <laughs> Catch fact, Jack the Ripper for us! <laughs> oh, honestly, that would be fucking dope if you had to defend Jack the Ripper. That'd or prosecuted. No, I wouldn't. Well, but like, it if, would be if cool he was if it a was character like, in the case. Like the thing where you don't know he's guilty, and then you find out he's guilty, like a Matt on guard situation. I don't know. Jack the Ripper. <laughs> in fact, this case is completely different. And now for something completely different. Oh, I see. Did did he just read my mind? That's been happening a lot, my guy. <laughs> that is to say, no one has died. Yet. Okay, well then, like. Ever in the history of the whole world. Ah. It's all a simulation. Ah. And the trial will not be today. There is plenty of time to research the case thoroughly. <laughs> 23 hours, 43 minutes, and 19 seconds, to be precise. I, when you get down to those seconds, you just come off as pedantic, my guy. Uh, so the trial's yes, tomorrow I'm then. Yes, I'm for that. <laughs> Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a little confused, that's all. Yesterday's trial was... Well, it left me wondering if I'm really cut out for being a lawyer. Yeah, dog, I don't know. I think you should just quit. Your boyfriend died for this, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, Mr. Narahuda. I don't know if I could face standing in that courtroom again after Mr. McGilded's trial. After he died in a fire off screen. Ah oh, yes, I nearly forgot. There is one there is one similarity with yesterday's case. Once again, there is currently no one to advocate for the defense. Oh if the situation remains unchanged, the trial will start tomorrow with the defendant unrepresented. And if that happens, I need not remind you of the inevitable outcome. The most terrible end awaits the defendant. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, here we go again. We have to subject them to the beginning of Save Data Team's second pool stream. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah. Can't no, do that. Anything but that! We have to make them watch Wes try on a bunch of different outfits from Zack's closet. Hey, fuck you, that was good. No, that was a good was... I, I like that you're not dunking on me, you're you're trying to yeah, stand up for your own bit. Exactly. <laughs> um what not a bit, it was completely Uh huh, that was organic. real. That was All real. Those All those closet. clothes are definitely in my closet, and that's why you've seen me wear them before on stream. Uh, exactly. Before. Yeah, that checks out. <sighs> Also, just Rinosuke saying, here we go again. I'm pretty sure I used this in the old edits, but this is very much oh, the GTA. Shit. Yeah. Here we go again. I'm pretty sure somebody's made that edit and I pasted it in our video. Oh, Jason's in the chat, who is also. <laughs> in our living room. <laughs> <laughs> just laying in the floor. <laughs> off screen. Hi, Jason. <laughs> Jason, I feel bad. Do you want to leave? Like, we're going to be doing this for a couple hours. <laughs> That's... Play your play Chad your didn't hear that. Yeah. Jason just said he didn't have anywhere here to go. I feel Chat. bad now. Are you okay, my guy? Chat, I think the next stream goal is get Jason a home. Is your home life home. okay? <laughs> I think the next donation goal is get Jason a new home. I'm terrified. <laughs> uh, anyways, I guess... Here we go again. <laughs> oh, shit, Neku says let Jason join. Give him extra characters to voice. Oh, he says he's good sitting on the floor. This is a pretty comfortable floor. <laughs>
Your time is up. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Magnus got pissed that Jason stood up. He's like, what? I liked you exactly where you were. Magnus, lay back down. You will have to excuse me. I would advise you begin to make prep you begin making preparations for tomorrow's trial. After all, the clock is ever ticking. There is now but twenty three hours, twenty six minutes and thirty nine seconds until the court sits. <sighs> Last time he mentioned twenty three hours, he'd said there was plenty of time. And one more thing. One more thing. <laughs> Mr. Norahodo, there is something I would, I should, uh, I should like to ask. Oh, um, what's that? Yesterday, you remarked upon something. That you intended to see through the will of your late compatriot, Mr. Asogi. How dare you mention his name? I would be interested to hear what exactly you mean by that. Inside 34 seconds. Oh, well, um, <clears throat> Cosmo always used to I say, you see, pressure. that he wanted to learn the greatest justice system in the world work so he would change ours in Japan. And now that he's gone, I'd like to work towards that myself. And, uh, there's another thing. Oh! Another thing? Continue. Oh, on the way here, on the steamship, he said something to me. There's been something very important that I have to do. Something very important. And what exactly would that be? He never had a chance to tell me. I suppose he would have done if you're out of me time. Shit. Well, thank you for an enlightening discussion. Did I even get to say anything important to you? Miss Mr. Narahodo, what's all this about? Mr. Asogi never once mentioned anything of the sort to me. Get in fucking line, bitch. <laughs> I urge you both to focus your attentions on the matter at hand. Even though I just completely distracted you from that with that question. Look at this jabroni! I've taken the liberty of summoning the police inspector in charge of the case. New detective! Yeah. He's been standing here the entire time. This is, this he is, is very bored. Is this new gumshoe? <laughs> no, he's not bored, trust me. He's got plenty to do, and you'll see in a second. He'll be able to apprise you of the details. How long has he been there? <laughs> also, fucking fulfill us as British Luigi. That's good. Which is very good. I love that. So, I wish you the best of luck and bid you farewell. Till next time. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's like your thing. <laughs> you better watch out. <laughs> There's something very important that I have to do, Kazuma-sama. What did you mean? I wish I knew, but honestly, he never told me. Anyway, you'd better talk to the detective, don't you think? Yes, you're right. I hope I'm just imagining it, but I wouldn't say he looks pleased to see us at all. I ho clearly it's not going to be any sort of racist thing. Oh no, god damn it, not again. <laughs> More racism in England. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> uh, and Jedlap to 100 bits saying, best detective in the entire franchise, do not at me. Well, shit. This is a, talking do a big not, game. Do not at me. Oh! Oh! <laughs> talking a big game for a character we haven't met yet, so... Well, why do we, what are you talking about? He's every character. We've already met him. <laughs> Very true. Even in this franchise. Yo, he's eating chips. Crisps. Oh, he's eating, he's eating the chips. chips. Wait, no, these are these are chips. You're right. You're right. Fish chips. And chips. Fish and... Was that a fish that he's specifically biting out of, or is that just a really big chip? I think it's just a big chip. It might be fish and chips. Yeah. It might be fish and chips. Now, do fi do do British people eat fish and chips in newspapers? Hold it like a. A triangle? I believe, I believe it. I would eat it like that. Soapy says yes. They do? Okay, well, yeah. sure. And look, this is like a, a bottomless fish and chips <laughs> thing right Jesus. here. Jesus. I'm honestly pretty jealous. Let Jesus, go. So. Jesus could never. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, he 
multiplied the fish, so he kind of could. could but, he, but could he also multiply the chips? Is I, the question. All I'm trying I mean, to say, the yeah, bread, Jesus, so. Jesus did bread, but this man can do potatoes. So all I'm trying to say is maybe better. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I'll find to give him some potatoes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> could we trouble you? What do you think? Uh, um, <clears throat> lovely weather, isn't it? What's the weather got to do with anything? Uh, Listen to me, you young Japanese upstart. Some frippery about the weather is done get every English gent eaten at your hand, you know? <laughs> I like this guy, actually. Uh, but Susato-san told me it was foolproof. I'm a busy man. <laughs> a very busy man. I love that. It's like a pigeon. Like, he lunges and eats at the same time. It's very good. He eats very aggressively. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a crime scene to it. But I'm here having the give to life that you're talking to. <laughs> oh. Um, you ever, didn't like that, did you? I'm ever so sorry. Can you imagine what the other of what the <laughs> other officers there will be a saying, huh? Haven't seen Gregson anywhere, have you? No, he's too busy with the big wigs these days. And all because of some bumpkin who's here on a jump from a country I've never even heard of. Hear that ripping sound? That's my reputation at the yard going to tatters. There's no need to rip us apart as well. I don't believe we've been introduced. This is Mr. Ryunosuke Narahodo, a defense lawyer. Hey. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Mr. Narahodo's judicial assistant, Sue Zen. Hey. <laughs> a lady? <laughs> Me lady? It's lovely weather we're having today, isn't it? Oh, are you a simp? He is a simp. He's oh. a total simp. Oh, shit. He even tipped his fucking oh, wow. head. He did, he oh, did milady. He miladied no. her. Wow. No. Oh, God. He was doing so well at being cool. I know, and then he miladied <laughs> at the end. Come I on. Know. Come on. <laughs> He's unseasonably fine, I grant you. London winters don't see a lot of sunshine. Unbelievable! How did she pull that off? So, <clears throat> well, Strongheart has asked me to fill you in on the case. The name's Tobias Gregson. Inspector Gregson to you. I'm from Scotland Yard. Oh, Wes, this is a character from... Yes, Tobias the Gregson. The Herlock Holmes books. Which, I don't know... If we're going to get, because I, I was playing ahead. I have finished this case, but I have not gone further than this, and I think I'm actually going to keep it that way. I kind of like experiencing okay. with you guys. Uh, but Inspector Tobias Gregson is one of the main characters in the Sherlock Holmes novels. He's one of the main detectives. There's a second one, and I don't know if we're going to get resolution on this. But the second detective is uh, Lestrade. Which we know now is Gina Gina's Lestrade. Last name, yeah. So I don't know if Gina's Gina father. is gonna be that other detective, gotcha. or if Gina's father is gonna be a character. Uh, but as far as the Sherlock Holmes novels, there's two detectives. They compete against each other, basically for notoriety and fame. It's Gregson and Lestrade. They are bitter rivals, very much like trying to solve cases before the other one does, and like bragging to Holmes, or excuse me, Holmes when they like think they got it like oh Lestrade doesn't know what he's talking about here I figured the whole thing out and blah 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 so cool Gregson is absolutely a main character in the Sherlock Holmes novels which is really cool to see him represented here dope Gregson um Inspector Gregson oh yeah and I think they know because the Sherlock Holmes novels are like a ah. thing What's the matter with Susato? Son? And as oh yeah, remember Susato is a big Sherlock Holmes. She Holmes's is. She sin. is. She oh, loves yeah. the novels. That's right. Does this detective's name mean something to her? Hmm. Inspector, are you perhaps V. Inspector Gregson? 
Oh, fuck. He's like, I've got the yeah. biggest dick in the world right now. <laughs> I've got the biggest fish and chips in the world, baby. You're acting like you know this man, Mr. Sato. Uh, but he's a London detective. Oh, I do know him. Very well, in fact. Very well? Yes. He features prominently in the adventures of <laughs> Herlock Sholmes. Hey, thank you for it. Oh, in that publication. What's it called again? Ranst Magazine? That's right. Inspector Grayson and Mr. Sholmes enjoy a wonderful, friendly rivalry. Really? You rivaled the great Mr. Sholmes? <laughs> That's incredible. Obviously uh, Mr. The joke. Sholmes, who got almost everything wrong last week. <laughs> <laughs> That's him? Which, you know, this game makes a good bit of it, but the joke in the novels is that... Gregson doesn't know shit and he's yeah. very bad at his job. Yeah. But in the game context, it's very fun because Herlock Sholmes is kind of bad at yeah. his job. Yeah. It's a little dumb sometimes. He's he's a glorious, lovely himbo and we love him very much. <laughs> oh, um, well, I don't know about that. Mr. Sholmes isn't a professional like myself, of course, but he does come up with the goods from time to time. Goods. Mr. Sholmes is equally complimentary about you, Inspector, isn't he? You've earned his highest praise. Gregson is the pick of a bad lot of all the Scotland Yarders. Those were his own words. That's his highest praise? Well, Mr. Sholmes isn't particularly known for giving compliments, you see. That he is not. In fact, to that magazine, my name's known all over London town now. That's great, isn't it? Hmm. I have to admit that I, that to start with, I was a little, well, flattered by all the attention. Everyone wanted to shake my hand, and my reputation at the yard went through the roof. Well, that's wonderful. No, it is not. There is nothing more sinister than the man on the street. People are always looking at me now. They're whispering rumours about me under their breath, I'm sure. Rumours? Spelled the British way. Rumours. <laughs> uh, are you quite sure? You're quite the colourful character as well. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to try some yogurt? <laughs> that was bad, like. It's an honour to speak with you. <laughs> oh, honour's good, yeah. yeah. He's changed since he started appearing in those stories. The fame's gone to his head, stuff like that. Gosh. Do you really think people are Sorry, saying such mean-spirited things about you? Oh, we got it. Dang, good, good yeah. on you. Yeah. Like I said, they whisper. So I can't catch exactly what they're saying. But I know what folk are like. <laughs> I'm sure that's what they're saying. As sure as eggs is eggs. Well, I guess the yolk's on you. Oh, I don't get it. I get the feeling that this detective could be very hard work. Oh dear. Perhaps a sudden rise to fame does change people. I Damn, do that was that was one fucking dialogue selection. That's the thing about these games, is like that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if you go back to the old games, it's like you click through the three things and then they add a third An thing on top. Thing, yeah. And I'm like, I'd rather just It's you probably keep honestly it's probably the equivalent. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> about the case of the, that the Chief Lord Justice mentioned before. Nothing to tell, really. Okay, but like, we know nothing. As far as we're concerned at the Yard, it couldn't be simpler. Oh dear, that probably means that as far as we're concerned as lawyers, it couldn't be more complicated. <laughs> uh, I wish you were wrong about that. I have a nasty feeling you're right. A young woman was walking along the pavement on Briar Road when she was stabbed from behind. Fortunately, it wasn't fatal, but she still laid up in hospital, unconscious. That's despicable! What sort of coward would attack the poor woman from behind? I suppose you would have finished who I suppose you would have finished I suppose you would have finished whoever it was off with a Susato takedown, would you? There, it's a takedown. That is neither here nor there, Mr. Narahood. Brace yourself, Ryanosuke. You've angered her now. 
And as we know, uh, hey, it might be Godot, because as we know, Godot is used to working with women from behind, as we established. <laughs> anyway, after something of a whirlwind investigation, the criminal was arrested. He barely had time for a cup of tea. Get it? Because it's a British thing. That's After funny. the incident took place, to be honest. So, there must have been something left at the scene of the, that must have been something left at the scene that led you directly to the culprit. Or perhaps a reliable witness who recognised the person in question. Let me stop you right there. You're wasting your time on this one. Sorry. There's nothing you can do. There's no way to help the bloke now. Why you ever not? Simple. The prosecutor that's been assigned to the trial tomorrow is Lord Barrett von Zeitz. Not that motherfu- No! <laughs> Sounds like you've heard of him then. <sighs> the racist of the Baileys, what they call him. <laughs> Which is unfortunately a pretty nondescript nickname because that describes like... Half the people that work there. (laughs) 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 Oh, yes, we are very familiar with Lord Van Look, for anyone asking, we're only making a bunch of Britain's racist jokes because we're American. (laughs) It's also super racist. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. That's the pot calling the kettle. There's nothing more disparaging Britain about that we we don't disparage our own country about. (laughs) That That makes it okay. It's not the pot calling the kettle black. It's the pot calling the kettle white. (laughs) <laughs> that's good we're, we're an equal opportunity dog whistle I guess yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, like we're a dog whistle like <laughs> no you're right you're right you know what I meant <laughs> well equal opportunity country insult white country insulters <laughs> that's why I feel like there's got to be a better yeah, word we'll, of phrasing that we'll, we'll workshop it we'll workshop yeah, it we'll get back to you don't worry yeah we, listen, we haven't been practicing on our racist jokes because we haven't been playing this joke. We haven't been playing this game. <laughs> sure, that's... Yeah. Believed to be the harbinger of racism itself. <laughs> the racist of the Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they did it. They did do it. They did it. The thing we said they wouldn't do. Lord Barak von Zeeks, who we faced in court only yesterday... Mr. McGilded told us about him before the trial, didn't he? No. When Van Zeek stands for the prosecution, they call the accused his sacrificial lambs. Flourish. And in every single trial in which he's been the prosecutor, the accused has been damned. Racist of, sorry, the this reaper of the Bailey nickname. I suppose he's earned that because every defendant he advocates against is found guilty. Is that it? No. no he looks. He, at, he looks up. at you one like one time he showed up to the it. Bailey Halloween party in a Grim Reaper costume. It looked really <laughs> I like stuff. that. Yeah, we all good. just started calling him that. <laughs> well, if that's the case. We should inform you, Inspector. He's very racist. <laughs> but in yesterday's trial against Lord Van Zeeks, Mr. Narahood has secured a, vi- a verdict of not guilty. Uh, what of it? Oh, well, um, I think... That means that even against the Reaper of the Bailey, it's not impossible to save the defendant. No. Really don't have a clue, do you? What? What do you mean? I also love how he shoves them in his pocket. Yeah. He literally is just shoving, like, fish and chips into his coat pocket how? and then pulling them back how? out. How fucking so greasy gross. is that pocket? Ugh, I don't want to think about. So gross. That's what they call me at the at Scotland Yard. They call me old greasy pocket. <laughs> <laughs> The greasy of the old bailey. <laughs> the greasy of the yard. <laughs> oh, God. What happened to that bloke in the N.A.? He's dead. Oh. Magnus McGilded came a, came a cropper in that omnibus when it went up in flames. Came a cropper. That's a good bit of that's that's some slang. That's yeah, some British our British our our British viewers, if anyone wants to give us like the definition the of lore, came a cropper. Yeah, I would love to hear that. 
So you can't rightly say you saved the defendant, can you? Well, I mean... Yeah, sorry, is fuck he you! The the is he called the Reaper the Bailey because everyone dies in mysterious circumstances after their court I, I honestly think yes. Yeah, maybe you want to investigate him, just throwing that one out there. Seems like a freebie. <laughs> he just like he's murdering everyone. Yeah, if you're calling him the case. Reaper because he kills them, it feels like you should be doing, you know, something about your job. Yeah, but he's not foreign, so there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> What are you saying? Look, if Anzix could get the dirt to stick on everyone, he'd be a miracle worker. But that's not how it goes. He doesn't work miracles, he works magic. Black magic. I'd have a good long think about that if I were you. Are we really supposed to believe that? Now, you excuse me, I have to eat these crumpled up fish and chips covered in coat lint. Yeah! Also, this the guy lint. this guy works black magic. Now, excuse me while I eat this never-ending supply of fish and chips oh that replenishes God. as if by magic. <laughs> as if also by magic. Oh, my Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, well... I've filled you in as requested, and I'm very nearly out of chips. You're not. I've seen no. that. <laughs> <laughs> I can promise you, you're not. Are you sure you're not the second coming of Christ? <laughs> well, I did die that one time and then come back three days three later. Three days later, <laughs> so... Who knows? Who not? So I'll be heading back to the crime scene now. We're still carrying out a few investigations now. It was Briar Road, you said, didn't you? Where the incident took place? That's correct, ma'am. Mum. And if you ever... And if you head over to the holding cells, you can meet the criminal himself. You've branded him a criminal already? He's as good as... Shaking like a leaf in his cell, he is. He'll give you a chuckle, if nothing else. He's inmate 53. Speak to the jailer and he'll know you the way. He'll show you the way. Inmate 53. Thank you. Two, four, six, seven, Me, lady. <laughs> yeah, John about John way later in the uh, criminal justice system. <laughs> <laughs> He's inmate 24601. <laughs> so, there's no helping anyone against the Reaper of the Bailey, they say. I stole some fish and chips. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Is something troubling you, Mr. Narahodo? To tell the truth, when I recall the trial yesterday, I can't stop myself from shaking. The idea of facing the Reaper in court again is... Well... If you think it's too much for you, there's no shame in turning the case down. That takes courage, too. Hey, you know me. But if the man they've arrested is innocent, you could well imagine he'd be shaking like a leaf in his cell. And I, for one, wouldn't find the sight of that funny. So... If I'm honest, I'm still reeling from the shock of yesterday's events myself. And I'm really not sure if I'll be able to help this man, whoever he is. But I'd like to try. So I think I'm going to make some inquiries. Will you help? No. Oh, no, not that. Did you really think you had to ask? Do they say inquiries, or is it, was I right in saying inquiries? I think inquiries. Is yeah. Right. Mm. Damn, I second guess myself on that one. After all, I am your judicial assistant. Assistant. Thank you. So then, shall we? Yes, let's go. Let's or as they say go. in Japan, ikimasu. <laughs>